When I renovated my house, I had first to go through a budget before to initiate the project. And this is what I'm going to look with you, how we can do this with MS Project. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. Let's start. The budget with the MS Project will appear here on the summary task. For this, you need to have a summary task and then you will see the budget cost. It means how much money will be involved in the project. And you can also have the component of work, how many hours will be worked. Usually the worked hours are in businesses or companies, the internal resources and the cost are all the kinds of resources like machines, but they are also services. They are also um, services provided by other companies, like in my case, in the renovation of a house, carpenters and all the other works. For that project, I'm using the different phases, initialization, conception, realization and closing. The first thing we have to do is to get the summary task. For this, I go here up into format, you see, and here on the right, we have the possibility to make the summary task appear. So it's what I will do. And you see here, I have already a title in place, which is house renovation. Now I will need some resources in this project. And for that, I go here and I will take the resource sheet. So in the resource sheet, you see that I have set the different uh, works that I will have. I have carpentry work, I will have plumbing, I will have tiles, electricity, paintings, and then I need furniture for the kitchen and for the bathroom. So all those um, resources have made me some propositions which I have accepted and all I have to do is to pay the amount proposed. So that's the reason why they are all defined as costs. And I kept here the carpentry as material or as work to make you able to see how to change this. And of course, when you change a resource, there might be issues. So in that way, all those elements, all those resources are of type cost. Now, I will also work into this uh, project to do the coordination. So I will be the resource internal. And I will be a resource of type work. I will also have someone that will help me. And this, I call it an external resource or resource external, which will also be of type work. Those resources now, if I go to the carpentries and I look at the information of that resource, I need to make sure that my resource here is of type budget. And I say here, okay. So, this has been done for almost all the resources except the one except the one I just added now. So I will do it. Set it as a resource only for budget and the same for the second one. Now I will go back to the Gantt chart. And I'm going to do the following here into initialization of the project where I do most of the work. I'm going to select here the resource internal. And I'm going to say I attribute or allocate that resource to the task initialization and we'll see what happens. MS Project is refusing since this resource is of type budget and this can only be allocated to the summary task of the project. You see that on the Gantt chart, nothing has really changed here. So I'm going to enlarge this part a bit. And what I want to do is to add new columns here. And I will go and look for the columns relative to budget. So I will take first the budget cost that I add here. And now I will also 
insert the second one that you just saw, which is budget work. I will remove that column, hide it, like that we have more space, and I will also hide the one here in front. Now I will go into the task itself. For this I go into information, and into information you see here that we have resources, and for the moment nothing has been defined. So I will start here with the carpentries, as I will need as a resource. After that, I will need the electricity and I will add all of the resources we have here. This is now done and I can say OK. And we see that nothing has changed for the moment. Now I will switch to another diagram, which is here, which is resource usage, where we are going to find again all our resources. I will make it a bit uh, smaller that we can see everything, so I will remove here the work part. Like that, we see all our resources, and what you see is that each resource now has already the task, the summary task, house renovation. So now I will add values to those costs. So for the house renovation of the carpentries, it will be a 50,000. For the plumbing, it will be 6,000. For the tiles, 4,000. Electricity, it will be 6,000. The paintings, there will be 2,500. And I need also furniture for the kitchen. This will be a 10,000. And furniture for the bathroom, this will be a 5,000. So these are all the resources of type cost, and I have now still those two resources, the resource internal, which will be myself. And for this, you see that I don't have any more cost, but hours. So I will be involved for 300 hours and the external resource, I will set 100 hours. With that, we are almost done. We have the resource in terms of cost and the resource in terms of work. So now I go back to the Gantt chart and you see here that uh, we have now the budget cost, which is the sum of all those costs we just did. And here the budget work, which is also the sum of the work involved in this project. So this is the way we are bringing budget to MS project. This will be helpful if you want to baseline, to get a reference, if you later on want to compare your real costs to the budgeted costs, or if you want to compare the budgeted work to the real work, to do those comparison, you will need to baseline the project. So this will be shown in an additional video. Now, for good project management practices, we should add margins to the budget. For this, we are going back to the resource sheet. And here we could add margin cost, which we defined as a cost value and margin work, which we define as a work resource. I need now to define that resource also as a budget resource. Now we can go to the Gantt chart. We take the summary task and its information and we go and see at the resources. And here down we will add 
a margin for cost and we add a margin for work. I have worked for some administrations where if in your budget or in your project you don't have margins, then the project is not accepted. There are some others that really don't care about this and there are also some where you cannot put margins, so you have to find another name for the margins. I have a video about margins that will give you plenty of ideas about how to have margins and why to have margins. So in my case, what I do, it's now I go to the resource usage and I will find here my two margins. So it's about an 80,000 project. So I will say that I set about 10 to 15% of margin for the cost. So I put 8,000 and for the work, I will also do about the same and I will add here about 40 hours. Like that now, if I go back to the Gantt chart, you will see that the figures have slightly changed. I have 91,500 euros for the cost of this project and I have 440 hours, which gives me a margin at the same time financially and work-wise of about 10 to 15 percent. So now if in your company you have several projects competing against one another to get approval, uh, the comparison is often made on the budget. So it is clear that it's difficult to compare two projects uh, which have work components as well as cost components. So often you will see that the budget work is converted to a certain amount. For example, there are companies where they say that our work rate is about a hundred dollar or hundred euros and they convert those 440 hours into a money value, into a cost. And like that, you just have one value, which is the total cost of the project that you can compare between projects. And this eases the approval choice uh, for a board of manager or stakeholders. Now, I had a few comments of people asking me what's the difference between cost and budget. Budget, it's something that you do at forehand of the project into the initiation steps and it's to have an idea how much is the budget of this project. Costs, they are really when you are into the project and you start to order things. The work starts to do, then you follow the costs. So this is the difference between budget and costs. And we have and I will present you a video on costs as well. So with that, all what is left to me is to wish you a good time. Hope this was helpful. You liked it. You can sum up and uh, don't hesitate to comment. I like your ID. Most of the time I answer the, the comments and so far so good. So see you soon on my Vision 6D channel and bye bye.